What is the most likely diagnosis? Acute Hepatitis B Chronic Hepatitis B False Positive Hepatitis B Serology Previous Infection with Hepatitis B Previous Vaccination for Hepatitis B A 24-year-old woman attended the Genito Urinary Medicine Clinic for a sexual health screen. She was asymptomatic and had been previously well. Anti-Hepatitis B Core IgG Antibody Positive Anti-Hepatitis B Core IgM Antibody Negative Anti-Hepatitis B Surface Antibody Positive Hepatitis B Surface Antigen Negative What is the most likely diagnosis? For the interpretation of Hepatitis B Serology, we should approach in a stepwise fashion. So the first step would be to look for the surface antigen, ASBS AG. Positive Hepatitis B surface antigen indicates a person is currently infected with Hepatitis B, meaning ongoing infection depending on the time frame for infection. Ongoing infection may be either acute infection or chronic infection. So to differentiate whether this is an acute infection or a chronic infection, we need to move on to the second step. So the next step would be to look for the core antibody. Anti-hepatitis B core antibody. Core antibody may be IgG or IgM depending on the time frame. The half of M looks like A, acute. And G looks like C, chronic. So IgM antibody means acute infection. IgG antibody means chronic infection. Positive hepatitis B surface antigen plus positive anti-hepatitis B core IgM antibody means acute infection with hepatitis B. And positive hepatitis B surface antigen plus positive anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody mean chronic infection with hepatitis B. Negative hepatitis B surface antigen indicates either previous immunization or previous infection without being a carrier. So now let's move on to the third step and the third step would be to look for the surface antibody, anti-hepatitis B surface antibody. Positive anti-hepatitis B surface antibody indicates either previous immunization or previous infection. So to differentiate whether this is previous immunization or previous infection, we need to correlate it with anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody. In case of previous immunization, anti-G antibody would be negative. And in case of previous infection, IgG antibody would be positive. So positive anti-hepatitis B surface antibody plus negative anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody indicates previous immunization and positive anti-hepatitis B surface antibody plus positive anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody indicates previous infection. So positive anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody indicates either chronic infection or previous infection. If the core IgG antibody positivity is associated with positive hepatitis B surface antigen, this indicates chronic infection. And if the core IgG antibody positivity is associated with positive surface antibody, it indicates previous infection. So our step 1 was the surface antigen. ASBS AG hepatitis B surface antigen detects whether a person is currently infected with hepatitis B and currently infected means ongoing infection. Step 2 core antibody. Anti-hepatitis B core antibody indicates previous and or ongoing infection with hepatitis B. Previous infection is associated with positive surface antibody and ongoing infection is associated with positive surface antigen. Core antibody can be further subdivided into IgG and IgM, which indicates a time frame for infection. IgM is present when the duration of infection is less than 6 months, and IgG is present when the duration of infection is greater than 6 months. So IgM, acute infection, M looks like A, acute. IgG chronic infection G looks like C chronic. IgG may be positive both in chronic infection or previous infection.
Step 3. Surface Antibody Anti-Hepatitis B surface antibody status indicates immunity to the virus and is therefore present in people with either previous immunization or previous infection. Interpretation of Hepatitis B Serology Surface antigen HBSAZ is the first marker to appear and causes the production of anti-HBS surface antibody. HPSAG normally implies acute disease present for 1 to 6 months. Anti HPS implies immunity either through exposure or immunization. Surface antibody is negative in chronic disease. Anti HPC implies previous or current infection. IgM anti HPC appears during acute or recent hepatitis B infection and is present for about 6 months. IgG anti HPC persist. So IgG for either chronic infection or previous infection. HBEAG results from breakdown of core antigen from infected liver cells. Therefore, a marker of infectivity, meaning marker of hepatitis B virus replication and infectivity. HBSAG indicates ongoing infection, either acute meaning duration less than 6 months or chronic duration greater than 6 months. Anti HBC C for caught negative if immunized. So now let's apply the algorithm. Acute infection and chronic infection means the surface antigen would be positive, the surface antibody would be negative, and the core antibody would be positive. Surface antigen positive, surface antibody negative, and in case of acute infection, anti HBC IgM would be positive, and in chronic infection, anti HBC IgG would be positive. Previous immunization means only the surface antibody would be positive, and everything else would be negative, including the core antibody. Only the surface antibody is positive, surface antigen negative. Core antibody is also negative. In case of previous infection, the surface antibody would be positive and the core antibody IgG would be positive. If the patient is a carrier, meaning currently infected, the surface antigen would be positive. If the patient is on the carrier, meaning not currently infected, surface antigen would be negative. Now let's get back to our original scenario. Acute hepatitis B means the patient is currently infected or having the ongoing infection. So the hepatitis B surface antigen would be positive and acute means anti-hepatitis B core IgM antibody would be positive and core IgG antibody would be negative. Also the surface antibody would be negative. Chronic hepatitis B also indicates the patient is currently infected or having ongoing infections. So the hepatitis B surface antigen would be positive and chronic means anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody would be positive and core IgM antibody would be negative. Also the surface antibody would be negative. Previous vaccination for hepatitis B indicates only the surface antibody would be positive and everything else would be negative including the core IgG antibody. So in case of previous vaccination or previous immunization, only the surface antibody would be positive and core IgG antibody, core IgM antibody, surface antigen, everything would be negative. Previous infection with hepatitis B indicates the surface antibody would be positive and the core IgG antibody would be positive. If the patient is a carrier, the surface antigen would be positive and if the patient is on the carrier, then the surface antigen would be negative. And the presence of both anti-hepatitis B surface antibody positivity and anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody positivity points towards the previous infection with hepatitis B and since the hepatitis B surface antigen is negative so the patient is on the carrier. False positive hepatitis B serology is a different entity. In this case patient will only have the isolated positive core IgG antibody and everything else would be negative. 
So in false positive hepatitis B serology, only anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody would be positive and core IgM antibody, surface antibody, surface antigen, everything would be negative. This is the logo of FC Barcelona and we will use this mnemonic FC Barcelona to remember the false positive hepatitis B serology. F for false positive, C for core antibody, G looks like C. So isolated positive core IgG antibody indicates false positive hepatitis B serology. So the most likely diagnosis is previous infection with hepatitis B. This is a question addressing serological testing for hepatitis B infection. It is important to distinguish between surface and core antibodies and between antibody and antigen. Read the question carefully. Acute hepatitis B would be indicated by positive anti-hepatitis B core IgM antibody. Chronic hepatitis B would be indicated by positive hepatitis B surface antigen. False positive hepatitis B serology would be indicated by positive anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody alone. Previous infection with hepatitis B is correct as indicated by positive anti-hepatitis B surface antibody and anti-hepatitis B core IgG antibody with negative hepatitis B surface antigen. Previous vaccination for hepatitis B would be indicated by positive anti-hepatitis B surface antibody but negative anti-hepatitis B core ICG antibody.